सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ आर कस्टमर्स ए के स्टडी यो अजीत सर सर बिजनेस के बारे में थोड़ा बताइए एंड आपका एक रिसेंट अगर यू नो यू कैन टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू सॉल्व द पर्टिकुलर कस्टमर्स प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट थिंग दिस आई एम अजीत पाटिल कंपनी नेम इज अल्फा केमिकल्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड आई एम इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर होम मैन्युफैक्चरिंग होम केयर एंड पर्सनल केयर प्रोडक्ट्स सो सी आई एम हियर इन दिस बिजनेस सिंस 1995 वी हैव गॉट अ टू का फैक्टरीज एट वन इज एट तलोजा एंड अनदर इज एट खोपोली एंड रिगार्डिंग द सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम नॉर्मली यू थिंक दैट व्हाटएवर माय टर्नओवर इज नॉट आई एम गोइंग फॉर द मार्केटिंग इट्स हैपनिंग ऑनलाइन and uh, they say uh, because of with the it is a b2b business so mm-hmm. what happens normally uh, if there is any problem uh, then i directly go immediately respond to them so that they feel confident about our mere problem mein he came and he i didn't lost any business or didn't lose the time in this uh, same thing happen just uh, uh, last week when i was not there that uh, there is one company name also i can tell you that is a grower and well company that is a grovel mall is at this thing and they had got a plant at dadra and suddenly what happened since so many years they are taking the product from me and there was no issue at all and suddenly they called me and they said that they that product has got some problem some sedimentation is there okay. so that is also new to me so okay. just to immediately i responded they said tomorrow i will come to your factory straight away back i went to dadra i saw what the problem is then i we discussed that problem might be because of that uh, what thing happened and that is not because of our fault because some products we were getting importing from uh, korea and this thing they those products uh, abhi milna mushkil ho gaya because of pandemic some companies closed ho gaya china se nahi ho gaya so we started uh, uh, sourcing from india and usme uh, problem ki quality ka thoda issue tha so that created that problem so we immediately like, gave them the solution also and they were very confident and they are happy so i have got, i have got uh, so many companies they don't have standby supplier also they मटेरियल giving the confidence that you will not shortage of any raw material or theoretic supply or anything that's why they कि मेनी टाइम्स अब जब स्केल करने को कोशिश कर रहे हैं तो इफ यू इफ यू डोंट हैव अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फाउंडेशन अगर हमारा बेस स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं है तो वो फिर लॉन्ग टर्म इस पे नहीं होगा ना उसी साइड में अगर इफ यू लुक एट दी स्टार्टअप ना ना वो लोग बहुत जल्दी स्केल अप करने को कोशिश कर रहे हैं ना वट आर दे ट्राइंग टू डू देंगे ह्यूज प्राइस फॉर दैट इन दर्म ऑफ बर्निंग मनी अब कोई भी आज लास्ट फाइव ईयर सिक्स ईयर में इफ यू सी दी न्यू एज बिजनेस जो स्टार्टअप है जिसको फंडिंग मिला है सो दे आर ट्राइंग टू स्केल फाउंडेशन तो उनके पास है नहीं है बट जस्ट स्टिल ट्राइंग टू स्केल एट अ very very rapid pace for that they are paying the price of huge uh, burn rate kitna high hai what kind of burn rates they have true exactly mm-hmm. so unko kya mahine mein 100 200 200 crore ka loss you know talking about just the year 100 200 300 400 crores ka bhi uh, i think if you look at all the zomatos and the swiggies and the new age platform hai, every quarter on quarter 400 500 crores ka loss book kar so that means they are paying a price somewhere so yeah. in, in your case since you have grown traditionally so what we have to do now is that ki chalo ek ek level tak aapka kya tha ki main mere survive and sustenance tha ek yeah. generation i would say about least 25 to 30 years our journey was about survival and sustenance correct yeah. now we have reached a stage ki mujhe abhi next level jana hai so right. now we are focusing on a foundation where you are investing in processes yeah. you are investing in technology uh, you are investing in people the next level of leadership right. whether it is your family uh, level ka management ho ya you look even we are looking at external uh, support and everything so i think ye foundation hua and that is once you know that at least 2 3 years i have spent creating a strong foundation Mm-hmm. then now i am able to build on scale so this is very true to a, a building also so thank you thank you so much uh, ajit sir so can we have jagdish now uh, hum log we are in a diagnostic field this so, hum log blood test karte hain we have 10 centers three in thane four in airoli two in khargar and one in panvel and we cater to all the cl- diagnostic client from panvel till thane hum log ghar ja ghar ja ke visit lete hain patient ka ghar pe ja ke ja ke blood collect karte hain unko report online dete hain they need not come to our lab and we give a promise rt pcr within 6 hours at present during pandemic we were not able to give it because it the load was too high abhi recently ki uh, 
कोपोली में एक नोवाटेल होटल है उसका ऑपरेशनल हेड इज माई पेशेंट ही वॉज पॉजिटिव फॉर कोविड तो आफ्टर सेवन डेज द पेशेंट अगेन केम टू मी एंड आस्किंग फॉर गेटिंग इज आर्टिफिशियल डेन आर्टिफिशियल टू गेट इट डन तो मैंने उसको एक्सप्लेन किया बाबा तू तो क्यों कर रहा है आर्टिफिशियल देखो क्या होता है अगर एक बार आर्टिफिशियल पॉजिटिव आया है तो उसको नेगेटिव आने को कभी कभी ट्वेंटी एट डेज लगता है आप ठीक okay. होने के बावजूद तो मैं बोला यार सर मैं नहीं सर मैं वो करना है नेगेटिव है कि नहीं बोला देख बाबा तू तो अभी ठीक तो हो गया है उसके बावजूद तेरा रिपोर्ट पॉजिटिव आ सकता है गवर्नमेंट का प्रोटोकॉल है जब यू गेट पॉजिटिव आफ्टर टेन डेज ऑफ आइसोलेशन एंड ट्रीटमेंट यू डिड नॉट डू इट तो मतलब वी रिफ्यूज द पेशेंट ऑल्सो बाबा वी गाइड दम बाबा मत करो अगर पॉजिटिव आया अगेन आई हैव टू अपलोड ऑन आईसीएमआर पोर्टल अगेन तुमको दस दिन काउंट होगा तो वी डू दैट एंड हम लोग किसी भी इमरजेंसी सैम्पल में किसी को भी रिपोर्ट भी ट्राई टू गिव इन सिक्स वी गो टू होम कलेक्ट द सैम्पल्स वी डू दैट वे यू आर मेकिंग इट वेरी इजी एंड कन्वीनियंट फॉर समबडी जो ऑलरेडी स्ट्रेस्ड है हेल्थ की वजह से कि आपको टाइम में रिपोर्ट बलेगा घर से पिकअप होगा मेल पे आ जाएगा सो यू आर मेकिंग इट वेरी सिस्टमेटिक एंड वेरी इजी ओके यू आर नॉट जस्ट लुकिंग एट एज अ फाइनेंशियल अपॉर्चुनिटी बट इट इज इट इज अबाउट की कनेक्टिंग विद द पेशेंट ऑन अ लॉन्ग टर्म विद ह्यूमननेस एंड आज अनफॉर्चूनेटली क्या हो रहा है बहुत सारे एट लीस्ट हेल्थ केयर स्पेसेस में दैट ह्यूमननेस छूट गया एवरीथिंग हैज बिकम पेशेंट एज जब ये जो बहुत ऑनलाइन प्लेटफार्म है प्लेटफॉर्म पे इतने बम्बार्डमेंट करते ये टेस्ट करो वो टेस्ट करो बट वॉट इज द नीड टू गेट द टेस्ट डन बिकॉज नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ अ टाइम आदमी जब बीमार पड़ता है तभी उसके मेटाबोलिज्म का डिफरेंस आता है एनालाइट का डिफरेंस आता है अदरवाइज कभी भी करो आपका एनालाइट नॉर्मल में ही रहेगा अगर एनालाइट नॉर्मल नहीं है तो ही तो आपको बीमार पड़े हो मतलब जिस ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म का बम्बार्ड कर रियली अप्रिशिएट दिस गुड अमाउंट ऑफ फाइनेंस टू बर्न आई एम डूंग टेक्नोलॉजी माई ओन आर पी एंड के सी इज माई टेक्नोलॉजी पार्टनर ऑल्सो कि व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट स्केलिंग स्केलो तो सालों से होते जा रहे हैं पहले से स्केलिंग सालों से हो रहे फ्लू केट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग स्पेशली करें पहले क्या होता था एक, एक जो भी प्रोडक्शन होता था एक इंडिविजुअल लेवल पे प्रोडक्शन होता था नाउ व्हेन 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 यू लुक एट द वेस्टर्नाइजेशन जब इंग्लैंड एंड इसमें हुआ था देन वी गॉट इनटू द असेंबली लाइन Americans and Europe, industrial right? revolution, right? Yeah. So that was all about uh, assembly line. When it started, was it was all about mass scale. Me produce, correct? Right? So manufacture, so scaling. That today, bad for it. It was 100, 200 years before. So a momentum start was. So we are at the peak of the um, uh, scale, scaling up at the manufacturing level, correct? Right? So that was completely. Uh, uh, कैपिटल इंटेंसिव था सो दैट्स वाई दोल कैपिटलिज्म आ गया कि जिसके पास पैसा था दे कुड क्रिएट एन असेंबली लाइन और हम कोई भी मैन्युफैक्चर जैसे अजीत सर भी एक एग्जांपल बोल रहे थे मैन्युफैक्चरिंग तो कोई भी कर सकते करेक्ट व्हाई बिकॉज इट जस्ट अबाउट कैपिटल है कैपिटल डाल दिया फंड हो गया फाइनेंस हो गया नाउ यूर टू क्रिएट एन असेंबली ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइन क्रिएट कर सकते हो और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग आप कर सकते आप कंसल्टेंट हायर कर सकते हो बेस्ट इक्विपमेंट हायर कर सकते हो तो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग स्टार्ट कर सकते हो नाउ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग द न्यू एज ऑफ स्केलिंग की डिस्कशन आप करोगे नाउ स्केलिंग इज हैपनिंग इन दर्विस इंडस्ट्री तो आज वेन एवर यू लुकिंग एट ऑल दोमैटो और इवन अमेजन एंड ऑल ऑफ दो थिंग्स इट इज अबाउट करेक्ट सो दैट शिफ्ट इज वॉट इज है now that means what is going to happening from capital the shift will start happening towards people towards yeah. talent towards ye so that's why technology saying, correct so technology that's also what this cheez ko logon ko kaise aap equip kar sakte ho kitne automation mein aap unko help kar sakte ho kitna information unko apne uh, palm mein de sakta hai unke mobile mein jitna de sakte ho so that shift is what is happening now so now when you look at this new age kind of a thinking so i always would say pay attention to uh systems and processes just can help enable people to give render a service to your customers matlab with the right invest in technology you ctl will scale up thank you okay, okay. lal vargis mr lal vargis so happy to see you after a long time 
Yeah, I'm into industrial business. We are into industrial trading. Uh, trading. We are distributors for Ingersoll Rand, Greco, uh, Beko, Compton, Prince Pipes, uh, Milfus, and uh, and basically we are into compressed air solution, paint application solutions, cleaning solutions, piping solutions, and lighting. Sir, basically all these products are cater. We are catering for the industrial customers, and that's what is our tagline. That we uh, our company we say that your one stop shop for all your industry I mean. and that's no. where like you know we are gearing up to take care of almost all the solutions for the customer uh, wonderful and uh, post covid uh, if you have to do the scaling up of the business and ek all, ek uske pehle sir ek case study aap bata sakte ho sir how you solved uh, uh, somebody's uh, problem problem one, recently one, one of the uh, major uh, source of uh, organization problem is the manpower okay, okay. one of the ma- manpower is like you say for example post covid uh, uh, i mean pre covid we had many employees and post covid most of we though we supported them in their financials and all that but post covid because of all uh, problems they left the organization keeping the system in a lurch okay so now basically what you have to understand that in, uh, to scale up uh, your organization and uh, to scale up your customer service and to scale up your principal organization's expectations out of your organization you need to tweak uh, a better method methodology and what i did is like you know i uh, there are certain activities which are called 80 20 uh, principle 80 20 principle which is called pareto analysis pareto that same. can Correct. be done in your business also so i focused on that and uh, my 20, 80% of okay, the okay can we also would want uh, one problem how you solve your customers problem customer solutions in the sense you know uh, going to the market that's what i was coming uh, keeping oh, okay. uh, taking the yes. background so uh, in order to do that you have to analyze analyze your activity in the organization what are the 20% activity which gives you 80% revenue and 80% activity which gives you 20% revenue what we were lacking is following up with the customers keeping good relationship so what we did is we had a uh, lady staff uh, handling those customer problems taking care and following up with the customers which we were not in a position to do after uh, providing though you have lot of crm management system and all that but then all that doesn't work uh, on a practical sense for a small and medium segment if you have a big large organizations to work with these are things which can happen but otherwise it is not there and again we we had lot of problems about uh, on time deliveries uh, stuff like that so we planned it out we started forecasting uh, getting the forecast from the customers and uh, you know preparing ourselves for uh, the deliveries and all that and you know uh, since last 7 8 months we have lot of global logistics crisis and a uh, uh, lot of our deliveries got stuck because of this uh, problem because the organized the principal organizations which we were working with were not in a position to deliver in time to dispatch so we had scaled up so that we could deliver the customer on time so that they never suffered uh, in the long run okay. so these are some you know similar uh, small small th- minute things we oh, so you could predict this challenge and you already started working on uh, certain uh, strategies which help you to service your customers yeah. today as, as if i tell you we have scaled up 25 percent over last so oh, very good wonderful wonderful, wonderful. fantastic that is what is the thing like there are a lot of activities like you know you may be spending more time driving the vehicle i mean if you happen to delegate that responsibility to your driver you can probably make use of that time and uh, talk to your customer absolutely add value to it so these are the things small small things which needs to be true true yeah. true so what we can again so when we are looking at anybody scaling so i think this is one more point which uh, we have discussed i think ajit sir also suggested that delegation is very very important scale scale up karne ke liye i think delegation as a activity is something which we need to pay thank you thank you so much mr lal let's go to priya sazni priya more of sazni yes yeah hi uh, this is priya i am the owner of the company sazni we are into garment industry we provide uh, sarees like traditional sarees like patani cotton sarees uh, because cotton is an uh, basic indian uh, uh, wool indian ंगलीस 
sarees but they get fed up after a some time so the challenge that is the biggest challenge now traditional sarees how to make it for every event so what we do is we give them customized uh, blouses like you make it a western blouse and the stylish blouse wear it a traditional saree but wear a western blouse so you're making it an indo western outfit so a girl is also happy a woman is also happy so you can wear it as your culture for a business event or a festival event or a wedding you can make, make it into indo western also there was a challenge where i faced is uh, like a traditional saree now what you can do it after over a period of we have provide uh, we are going to provide them make to order like now after you give us back your saree if you want a skirt out of it we will make a skirt of it and give you back and yes. there was a woman uh, who's a foreigner uh, her name was christine so she wanted uh, she loved my paitani saree so she approached my mother uh, sister that we want to have skirts also now since i faced a problem where uh, due to capital i could not start my uh, production so what i did is i got a ready made sorry ready made cotton skirt which is like you know semi stretch you can say a semi stretch skirt i am showing her the semi stretch skirt if she loves it she just has to go to the tailor with that semi stretch uh, skirt and get it fit onto her size and i will give her a jewelry also Wonderful. this is where i am satisfying my customers in all the ways they would love to have it Wonderful. Wonderful. very good now I'm uh, the priya one bigger hmm. biggest thing and and in yeah. fact this is the biggest future also abhi hone wala hai ki now scaling is going to happen along with customization correct yes, yes. very true products is always easier now yes. scaling with customization yeah that's right? very so true that, that is going to be the next biggest thing and that is the next big yeah. opportunity also yes all. yes let's so, go to rajvi velangi so hi this is rajvi velangi so i am a second generation entrepreneur in uh, sd industries so what we do uh, so what we do is we manufacture wiring harness which is our primary product uh, we also so we started with wiring harness in 2002 so uh, this year is going to be the 20th year of our operation oh, okay. uh, and we scaled up in different products so then we scaled up in foam product uh, then we started manufacturing electronic products so from a small automobile uh, manufacturing a component manufacturing unit we then scaled up to wide good appliances now we are also so this year our scaling up project is into electric vehicles uh, so which is what we are i am specifically looking into uh, so a recent breakthrough or uh, what i can say a testimony uh, kind of a thing yeah. yes so that was in electric vehicle field where uh, we developed an entire wiring harness like the main body wiring harness for a electric two wheeler with okay. just a couple of specifications it's a startup that is just coming oh, into yeah, this hey. field so with just certain technical specifications uh, we with our team could develop an entire harness and could deliver it within the time uh, the customer time so uh, yeah so day on day we keep on uh, looking for new opportunities um, looking forward we are uh, scaling up into uh, you know electronic semiconductors field which is what oh, india yeah. you know what the world is looking for right now so we have uh, uh, i uh, i think in yeah you're taking you're looking at semiconductors and some ancillary industries that that's going to be a huge job correct yes okay. yes so we have our uh, r&d team now looking uh, you know researching into that field and checking how feasible it is for a company of our scale to venture into Correct. So, so as per Ajay, what we discussed is uh, manufacturing. Uh, by default, that scale is there because uh, yeah. you have to manufacture one product. Those two hundred similar products, similar batches, similar. Area, and you can continue consistent route for three sixty five days. Correct. Now, as when it comes to manufacturing, um, I always used to see this as a. It's like a one way traffic. Why I say one way traffic? Because once we enter that. It's very difficult to come back because there's a lot of cap capex which is happening, investment which is happening. One assembly line is broken, yeah. So somewhere it it becomes very difficult to become a dynamic because you invest in one set. Uh, so we we don't want to change very quickly because it requires huge change, correct? So somewhere this becomes like a handy thesis kind of a thing. Okay, but if assembly is broken, we want it to at least uh, stay that way for a, at least good five six years before we recover that all all those costs and everything. then we want to into yeah so anyways world over a lot of research is happening ki how do we create a very dynamic 
uh, and very uh, what do you call robust assembly line so that is what is happening so one assembly line can do multiple kind of a task i think a lot of investment is going on that field a lot of research is going on in that uh, sector now but for a manufacturing company to really looking at scale is where now you need to start creating a brand so in that case what you should start focusing on is trying to find opportunities where you are able to start hitting the market directly in your name correct so if once you start as as you already started saying that you want to build a own uh, two wheeler and uh, you're trying to do those kind of things but somewhere if you uh, if you also start focusing on where you, at least one or two components may where your own brand is created where you are able to direct even if it is a very very minuscule part of revenue but still uh, put an attempt to do that because that that can uh, give a different uh, uh, type of perspective uh, for your uh, business true true so, so we, in that yeah. in that space we've already created two products but which is not into the automobile field so uh, four There's years back is the ta- tank uh, tanks tanks and ro units so that right. is something that we directly uh, do b2c but into automobile space we recently started manufacturing power cords which we are again looking for uh, you know branding and directly you know reaching out to the consumers right. per se so we are looking for products like that and we have that in our uh, you know uh, scope right now and yes we are doing that as well yeah for a company of our scale to venture into so wonderful all the best and please thank reach so out much. to us in case you want any support for creating thank your you. brand thank you so much yes. thank you